Welcome back to the channel. When you think about the Capital One Venture X card, you are thinking about a fantastic card, but a lot of folks have no idea about the particular benefits. Uh, I mean, the rewards in general, they can actually glean from this card. So let me first talk to you about the pros and cons here. So what are the pros really? For the pros, you have an annual fee that's, that is lower than others in its category. The fee is $395, by the way, $395. You have an annual travel credit and anniversary miles alone that could justify the annual fee. And miles are very easy to earn and easy to use. So this is something that we love a lot when we analyze the Capital One Venture X card. What about the cons? Well, there is a lack of domestic airline upscale hotel travel partners. Capital One Lounge Network is really it's in, in its infancy when you really compare with the, with the other players on, on the market. And you do have a lack of hotel status benefits, so this is really important. Now, what about eligibility? Well, Capital One will take care of you. I mean, they will accept your application if you have a minimum FICO score of 600. And they want you to have at least $18,000 a year in terms of income to make that much. $18,000 a year. That's gross income. And your CUR should be around 47% or less. CUR credit utilization ratio. This is really important, okay? So in terms of APR, you are looking at 21.24% to 28.24%. So that's a good delta. And there is no balance transfer fee with this card. The card will actually charge you 3% of the amount of the cash advance, but not less than $3, okay? So overall, when you really think about this card, the Capital One Venture X card is actually great for someone who travels regularly because... If you think about it, the annual fee will actually only make sense if you use the included benefits such as travel credits and airport lounge access. However, some travelers may choose other cars instead of uh, this card. And if you have cars that offer airline or hotel specific perks, this is really good too. And the only problem is that this card is actually missing those perks. Okay, so overall, this is a great card, but. It could be it could be really uh, improved so if you are in uh, let's say on the market for a car such as the capital one venture x card then maybe yeah give it a try okay at least give it a look i want to talk to you now about the highlights when we talk about the capital one venture x card it's really important to understand that some key features are really, really important to uh, highlight on this card. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about the Capital One Venture X. This is a review, and I'm actually giving you an in-depth review. So you, at the end of this show, you have all the, all the knowledge you need to make an informed decision about this card. Okay, so basically with this card, you can actually earn $75,000, uh, not $1,000, <laughs> 75,000 bonus miles when you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. This is actually equal to 750 in travel. Okay. You can actually receive up to $300 back annually as statement credits for bookings through a Capital One travel where you will get Capital One's best price on thousands of options. So this is actually really good for those of us who love Capital One, I would say miles rewards ecosystem. Okay. On top of that, you can get 10,000 bonus miles equal to about $100 when it comes to uh, travel. That, that's basically towards travel every year starting on your first anniversary. You can also earn 10x miles on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel. So the, the point I'm trying to make here is that you got to be really a great traveling aficionado or aficionada to actually enjoy this card and actually trying to offset the 395 capital one is charging you in terms of annual fee okay you have uh, you can earn unlimited 2x miles on all other purchases you can you have unlimited complimentary access to for you actually and two guests to more than 1300 lounges including capital one lounges and the partner lounge network again capital one their lounge system is still in its infancy it's not really as sophisticated as uh, the one that uh Amex has or the one you would enjoy if you were to go with uh, with a Chase credit card system. But hey, listen, they're trying hard. They're trying hard. So this is really good. 
you can receive uh, up to a hundred dollars credit for global entry or tsa free check okay but the cool thing is you can use your venture x mouse to easily cover travel expenses including flights hotels rental cars and more you can even transfer your mouse to your choice of 15 plus travel loyalty part uh, programs okay so this is great Let's talk about the rewards because this is an important element. A lot of folks are interested in the rewards that the, this Kepler One Venture X card actually has. So the earning process on the Venture X is pretty uh, straightforward for most purchases. In other words, you are earning two miles per dollar on all eligible purchases. That's five miles per dollar on flights booked through Kepler One Travel and 10 miles per dollar on hotels and rental cars when booking via Kepler One Travel. So everything happens through Kepler One Travel. Okay, this is really the cornerstone of their uh, the travel their reward system here, and uh, you will also notice the expanded travel earnings. But there is a catch, and a very important catch: those earnings, travel earnings, only apply if you use the Capital One portal. That's what I just said. Everything happens through that portal. For Airfare, there is no problem, especially if they have uh, since they have partnered with Hopper to help you find the best airfares. But for hotels and car rentals, you may lose status benefits if you book via an online travel agency, which hotels and rental companies will likely consider the portal to be. There is also a 10,000 mile bonus awarded each card anniversary. Okay, so that's for earning rewards. Let's talk about redeeming rewards. So, the Kepler One Venture Rewards Credit Card has historically won awards for ease of use. And the Venture X offers the same easy way to get your travel going. So this is really cool. We love the flexibility. We love the, the ease of use. We love uh, the, the fact that things are really uh, like things like user experience is really fantastic. Okay. You can purchase any travel as you would normally. Then when the bill comes, you can actually apply your miles towards any purchase in that category. Keep in mind that sometimes things you think will bill as travel, such as theme park tickets, may land in a different category. So this is why we have to actually do a little bit of a uh, category cleaning beforehand or and uh, after the fact. So be very careful here. You can also use your rewards at uh, one cent per mile on the Capital One travel portal. So this will be really useful for airfare since your benefits apply no matter what, no matter how you purchase your ticket. Okay. There are other uses such as uh, Amazon and redeeming for gift cards. But those generally will not get you the same per mile that you, you will get on travel. So this, this card is really great if you want to travel. Okay. And so finally, you can transfer your Venture X miles to a number of travel partners, including Air Canada, Aeroplan. You have Air France, KLM, Flying Blue. Or British Airways, Avios. Okay. So this is really what it is. I want to talk to you about the benefits here because it's very important to really, uh, I mean, spend some time on that, on that aspect of things. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. I'm talking to you about the Capital One Venture X rewards. I mean, not the rewards, but the Venture X card itself. And now I want to talk about, talk to you a little bit about the card benefits. And it's one of those things that are in, in our view, in our research here, we think that a lot of analysts and experts out there, they sort of uh, underestimate the uh, the magnitude of the benefits. Let me just walk you through a few of them here. So you have extended warranty. This is really great. So eligible purchases made on the card will have their manufacturer's warranty extended. And when we talk about extended warranty, you might be thinking, well, this is not something that important. But if you happen to have, let's say something like if you buy a luxury item, having uh, a warranty extended, really really plays an important role here you have a return protection so purchases that are ineligible for return may be eligible for reimbursement again you have a gain here because you are able to actually recoup your cash anyway you have tsa pre-check or global entry fee credit so you have up to 100 dollars tsa pre-check for or global entry fee credit you have to pay in the application fee with the card you got to use the card you have cell phone protection. So if you pay your cell phone bill with a card, you may be insured against breakage or loss. And then you have uh, access to a, a constellation of Visa Infinite Benefits. So when we talk about those benefits, I'm talking about 
all kinds of perks, including concierge service, which are obviously included with the card. So you can see here that we have a large catalog of benefits here, okay? And how long does it take to redeem rewards from the Capital One Venture X? Well, most reward re redemptions with the Venture X are instant. No, you don't have to wait 90 days, you don't have to wait like six months, or whatever. No, you are getting your, your, your rewards right away. And statement credits are typically applied to your account immediately. For example, and several mileage transfer transfer to partner programs are also instant. What we have seen in our research is that a few mileage transfers may require one or two business days to fully process and redeeming miles for gift cards will require a standard shipping time. So I just want you to really be aware of that. But overall, this is really fantastic. Okay. And uh, there is also something called the Capital One Venture X referral bonus. So Capital One actually offers a referral bonus when you refer someone who applies and is approved for the Venture X. So the exact bonus amount offered may change at any time, but it is generally 25,000 miles per referral up to a maximum of 20, oh, maximum of 100,000 miles per calendar year. So you can actually just refer up to four people. Okay, but it is what it is. It, it's just fantastic. So here you have it. You know, you have a lot of uh, a lot of ways to analyze the Capital One Venture X card. And uh, but now we really want to uh, spend some time a little bit on the uh, on the alternatives. Okay. So how does the Capital One Venture X card stack up? So first, we want to analyze this card versus the Platinum from American Express. Another card, another great card. Okay. So when you think about the Platinum card from American Express. It is really the OG premium card when you think about it, because this card earns American Express membership rewards, which are valuable because they are so flexible. This is what I was just telling you earlier. With Amex, you really are looking into premium territory because you have the flexibility here. Because while Capital One miles transfer to airline partners, membership rewards have more domestic partners such as Delta and Hilton, which could make using your membership rewards points more convenient for someone who doesn't want to dig into award charts too deeply. Okay, so this is really cool. On top of that, Amex sells exclusivity with the Platinum card and has bundled lifestyle perks such as Equinox membership credit with enrollment, um, along with the travel the with the travel ones you would expect from a travel rewards credit card. So this is really good. Something you don't have with a Capital One Venture X rewards credit card. And the American Express Centurion launches and Delta Sky Club access when you fly the same day with Delta. In addition to Priority Pass, when you enroll, beat by, like by, by um, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I, w I wanted to say by a large magnitude, but there will be a tautology here. But it, it really beats significantly. The Capital One initial launch lineup. Again, when we talk about Capital One lounge we are speaking about a, a process that is still in, in its infancy okay now one thing i have to say here is that american express credits are more onerous to use than the ones capital one provides because amex doles out many of its credits in monthly installments and places fine print on others such as the airline incidental credit that capital one does not okay so capital one does require purchases to be through the travel portal to qualify for the travel credit but since airline fares can be booked via any method and still qualify for elite benefits, the requirement seems, seems manageable for most travelers. Let me talk to you now about Capital One Venture X Rewards Credit Card versus the Chase Sapphire Reserve, another, uh, another OG in this sector. Okay. Now, first of all, when you think about the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you are talking about exclusivity also. You're talking about flexibility and you're talking about a touch of premium benefits. Okay. This is really important to remember. So up until now, the Chase Sapphire Reserve has provided the best competition for the Amex Platinum with the Venture X matching its benefits in almost every way with a lower annual fee. We think that it may be time for the Sapphire Reserve to share the spotlight. Okay. When you really think about it. Now, having said that, the Sapphire Reserve is still a solid card offering up to $300 travel benefit that is not tied to a portal like the Venture X because the Venture X, as I just said, you, you have to go through the, the Capital One travel portal. 
And so what, what do you have the gist of her having like a TSA pre-check global entry fee credit? You have high levels of travel coverage and a priority pass membership for a $550 annual fee. The only thing is that the chase of her, they are charging you too much. I mean, too much. That's a relative term. But here, the Capital One is charging you $395. Chase is charging you $550. Now, you, you do the math. Whatever. I mean, you have to look at the pros and cons and see what really works for you. Because it's not just about the price, right? It's also about the, the rewards you're getting. And uh, one thing I want to say here is that Chase is also in the process of uh, rolling out a launch network, which will be like way bigger based on our our investigations. We're hearing that will be way, way bigger than Amex's. There is another area where Chase reigns supreme in our view. Travel partners on the Sapphire Reserve are much more robust than those on Capital One for many users. Okay, when you really think about it, you know, I mean, you have United, you have Hyatt. Those are really great. Those are great players here. And uh, the, the only thing, then the other thing I want to mention here is that the ability to earn points towards those who, those two transfer partners may be worth the higher fee of the Sapphire Reserve for some. Again, United and, and Hyatt, those are the biggies, those are biggies in their own industries. So the ability to have the, you know, again, to transfer points to them is really great. So overall, when you analyze uh, Capital One Venture X rewards, versus Chase Sapphire Reserve, we believe that the Chase Sapphire Reserve is uh, much more superior, at least at this point in time, as of the date of this show, we believe that uh, this Chase Sapphire Reserve trumps by, by, by a large margin, the Capital One Venture X Rewards credit card. Let me first uh, compare and contrast before we close today's conversation. I want to compare the Capital One Venture X Rewards with the Capital One Venture Rewards. Okay, so we have two credit cards from the same company. We want to see the pros and cons. We want to see which which one is really great. Now, if you like the idea of flat rate travel rewards, but not the pricey annual fee, then the Capital One Venture Rewards credit card could be a solid alternative. Because when you really think about it, like if you want to focus only on the annual fee, you go from a uh, 395 to 95. I mean, that fee drops by $300. Okay, but you will still earn solid rewards. You have five miles per dollar on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel and an unlimited two miles per dollar spent on other purchases. So, this is like it's one of those things you have to sit down with your family. If you have a family or if you love traveling, by the way, you have to sit down and really crunch the numbers. You have to crunch the numbers in and out to see exactly which one works in your favor. Okay. And one thing what we one thing we, I want to say here is that, and this is based on our research for the last few years into those uh, Capital One travel cars, ease of use is the name of the game with the Capital One Venture Rewards credit card, just like the Venture X. Okay, so to redeem, you can just apply your miles directly to your travel charges on the card at one cent per mile, one cent per mile. And the one thing we also love here is that it, the Venture miles are also transferable to the same partners as uh, Venture X at the same ratio. So, I mean, give or take, when you really analyze that, the, the Capital One Venture X rewards is actually bringing you, uh, I think, uh, a little bit more benefits. But again, you got to sit down and ask yourself whether those benefits are worth the extra $300 that the, the Capital One is charging you when it comes to the annual fee on, on both cards. For most people, the Capital One Venture Rewards credit card is just fantastic, okay? They wouldn't mind actually using this card for a while. But again, if you are in a category where you really value the benefits that the Capital One Venture X Rewards credit card is actually bringing to the table, then it will definitely make sense for you to actually go with uh, this card. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the in-depth review that uh, I appreciate you following the in-depth review that we just did for the Capital One Venture X card. So I spoke to you about the pros and cons. I gave you a little bit of the highlights about the card itself, the rewards, the benefits and the alternatives. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.